Um, well, hello everyone. Uh, it's time for a, a new tool uh, today. Um, what I want to talk to you today about is um, is the humble earbud. Uh, I need to reach for one. Um, yeah, one of uh, one of these. Um, I would imagine uh, everybody in model making uses uh, probably thousands of these uh, every every year. Um, they come in various shapes and sizes. Um, I get these from uh, quite a famous uh, high street uh, chemist uh, whose name begins with the B. Um, but you can get them from anywhere. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a mainstay of model making. Um, but of course, what I always try to do is look for uh, I guess what's next, what um, uh, what kind of innovations you can uh, you can find, and if there are any innovations with uh, with humble earbuds. Um, and of course, these these have a job. They they they're absolutely fine. Um, but um, yeah, they they aren't perfect. Uh, as I said the the service of these you know comes uh, comes away. You know, if I if I keep uh, picking at that, uh, you know, they aren't uh, they aren't ideal, and I'm sure everyone's had issues with. Um, leaving some of this material on their on their models. Um, so I had to look around uh, for something that uh, sort of solved that issue, but also was maybe a, a bit smaller. Uh, they gave you more precision. Again, you'll hear that word a lot across uh, across these uh, these videos. Um, I'm always looking for something that uh, that uh, gives you more more precision, the, pre the precision, um, and more accuracy. That's that's kind of what I'm what I'm after. So I look around, and uh, these days uh, I tend to uh, use uh, uh, the Tamiya. Uh, version of the, of the earbud, uh, which is, uh, yeah, which is one of these. Um, the the material seems to be very similar, but uh, it's it's more tightly packed. Um, in fact, I think they come in two sizes. If memory serves, let me just reach for another one. Um, there you go. Um, particularly this one. Um, let me put that one down. Uh, this is this is kind of what I use for um, really want to do pin washes, cleaning up, uh, any kind of paddle lining because you know it's a, it's a very fine tip. The material on the end here is uh, it's quite dense, um, which is uh, which is very uh, very useful. But even that wasn't small enough for uh, for some uh, some applications um, that uh, that I wanted. Um, I built a lot of um, uh, detailed uh, 124 scale cars, so the engines uh, in effect. Um, and even this is is too uh, is too large to actually get into into some into some areas. So I had a look around again, and uh, I kind of come up with uh, these things, which. Uh, uh, have a lot of applications. I think uh, they're used for um, uh, you know, cleaning inkjet printers and all the rest of it because they have this very very fine tip on the, on the end of there. Um, I also use these for cleaning my airbrush uh, out uh, as well you know, at the end. Um, so again, they have an application, they have a use, uh, they have an ideal for for certain certain things. Um, but the uh, the tips on these are, are very fragile. It's quite easy to, to rub those off, and I've had that issue a lot. Um, you know, scrubbing too hard, and it's just come off. Uh, and, and also they are quite fragile, uh, very easy to bend and, and break them. So again, I was looking around for um, I guess what was what was next, what could actually solve those issues, and I came across uh, a company called um, uh, Anis, uh, who sell uh, lots of uh, different uh, kinds of. Um, uh, detail, um, uh, lots of 3D parts, some some tools, etc. For, uh, you know, for for highly detailed, uh, highly detailing your model. What they do have is uh, is two kinds of, uh, of I guess what you call a precision earbud. I suppose I suppose that's what you call them. Uh, so let me show you those now. Um, let me show you uh, type uh, type one first, as there are two types. Um, I say this is the uh, this is the actual company itself. Um, these uh, this is how you get you get. Um, uh, you get 50 of these, uh, what they call uh, cotton swabs, in uh, in the in the bag. Yeah, let's get one one out so you can actually see um, why I think uh, they are um, really quite a uh, an innovation and a really very useful item for I think for every model maker. Now it's 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 kind of the size. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to see that uh, like that, but if I bring say the Tamiya uh, next door to to it, and you can kind of see. The, uh, the the different size. I mean, that's you know uh, probably five, ten times the size. Um, and of course, even even smaller when you bring it next door to uh, next door to the uh, uh, standard uh, standard cotton one. Uh, if I can find find a good space to show you that. So um, I I sort of saw these online, and uh, they are extremely useful. It's simply because of the size, and because it gives you the precision. I'm looking for again. Um, again, this one comes to uh, to a point. There is a second uh, um, type. I'll show that to you in a second. Um, and at its widest point, uh, these are uh, 2.4 millimeters. 
which is uh, you know crazy small, but is very very useful. Uh, if, uh, for instance, like I said, I, I what I tend to do is uh, pin wash engines. So when I want to clean it up, um, even the, the you know the Tamiya one uh, isn't going to cut it for me. I literally can cannot get to where I need to to go with uh, with these. These, on the other hand, are perfect because I can reach in to some very very small spaces. Uh, I'm also thinking maybe you guys that do uh, highly detailed uh, cockpits, for instance, um, these could be uh, these could be ideal for uh, for you. Um, the list kind of goes on, but if you're looking for something that is very very small, but again still has a, a compact um, head on it with a uh, very small tip. I mean, I'd say that tip is probably 0.2 of a millimeter or something something like that. Um, you know, on both ends. So that's type uh, type one. Type two um, is uh, even a little bit more interesting. Let me just bring it over the bag. Now, type two is uh, it's the same uh, the same sort of you know, physical size lengthwise, but what they've done is they've uh, put a, um, a uh, it's it's there's not the the end after is the is the flat. They haven't uh, put a put a tip on that because they kind of understood that you might not need that for uh, for some applications. So with these, the uh, the actual tip is uh, is flat. Uh, and again, that space across the top there is is uh, 2.4 uh, millimeters, uh, which might be ideal. So again, I use this for for cleanup. I've even used these and uh, and the pointy one uh, for uh, for applying paint and all the all the kinds of materials. Now, if you want to reach in to dab some paint on a um, a dashboard or um, a spark plug, I've done that. These are kind of perfect for them, for you know for that. Uh, the flat one again, it has application. You put some paint or some other materials on, just dab that onto onto on the surface. Um, it kind of depends if you need the accuracy that um, these kind of give you. Um, so those are the um, the new, um, I guess what I call precision earbuds, or um, uh, they call them cotton swabs, uh, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, but I'll probably be calling these the precision uh, precision earbuds. Uh, so two two types, uh, you know, the pointy one and the stubby one. Um, you get fifty uh, of these uh, in the um, in the in the bag. Uh, those should be on the store uh, as you as you watch this. So again, any any questions, any queries, uh, you know, do uh, uh, do come uh, come back to me.